Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. You might have seen the famous Khadi flag shared on the community post of our channel. It is the biggest Indian flag made of Khadi 225 feet long, 150 feet wide and weighing 1000 kg. It took nearly 150 troops of Indian Army's 57th Engineer Regiment to carry it to the top of a hill at over 2,000 feet above the ground level in Leh. Today, a picture of LUH has also emerged with this flag. However, the news which is coming regarding it is not very encouraging. The Hilo is back in Ladakh for another rounds of trials for Indian Army. Back in August last year, LUH was in Ladakh for its last trial. Two prototypes of LUH were landed in Ladakh as the final capability demonstrator for the Indian Army and Indian Air Force before orders are placed. The LUH who has been flying sorties between Leh, forward airfields like Dorat Beg, Oldi, and even super high altitude helipads at the Siachen Glacier as requested by Army in the middle of continuing military standoff in eastern Ladakh between Indian and Chinese forces. HL had announced the completion of the final demonstration trial on 9th September 2020 which involved envelope expansion, performance, flying qualities, payload and landing capabilities at the highest altitudes of Siachen Glacier. However, this was not the first time LUH has completed similar trials back in September 2019. It has operated from the world's highest airfield at Dalat Beg Oldi. It has also finished hot weather trials in Nagpur and sea level altitude trials in Chennai and Puducherry. The LUH has already achieved the initial operational clearance back in February this year and the FOC was planned later this year followed by its induction. The current trials of LUH are to test the modified tail rotor as requested by Indian Army after previous rounds of trial and for your information, this is going to be third trial of LUH in last three years. Talking about LUH, it is an indigenously designed and developed helicopter intended to replace Chetak and Cheetah. The Hilo is manned by two crew members and can carry six passengers with itself. It is powered by one HL Turbo Mega Shakti 1U turboshaft engine, which can generate power of 798 kilowatts. The Hilo has excellent service ceiling of 65,000 feet and cruising speed of 235 kilometers per hour. It has a range of 350 kilometers with a payload of 500 kg. Its ferry range is 500 kilometers. Now the serious question is that after granting IOC last year, why is Army suddenly finding problems with LUH? The Army is still flying the aged Cheetah and Chetak utility helicopters, which is definitely decades behind LUH in terms of safety and technology. While Army may have genuine concern as they might want to make LUH perfect before inducting, but isn't it too late for that? And for that matter, no aircraft or helo is perfect in true sense. I wonder if the similar amount of testing is done with Western or Russian aircrafts. All we can hope is that it should not start the famous Army trials, which ends only when technology becomes obsolete. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.